Well, it's a major renovation that has been announced officially. Nebraska Memorial Stadium, $450 million. And there is a few, not really renderings, but there are a few diagrams showing what's going to be happening. I'm guessing the renderings will be coming out probably when this officially gets announced. But you can see renovation aims to enhance Nebraska fan and student experience as Memorial Stadium marks its 100th anniversary, the home of the Huskers is set to undergo a massive $450 million makeover to give fans more elbow room, enhance the game day experience, and ensure the state's football cathedral remains structurally sound into the next century. The improvements will also mean displacement of some 23,000 fans in South Stadium for at least one season beginning in 2025, plus a permanent reduction of the stadium seating capacity to around 75,000. So this is big news for Nebraska. They're reducing their capacity. We know they've got the sellout streak. It was kind of, you know, on thin ice. So apparently some of the big time boosters bought up some of the tickets to keep the sellout streak going in previous years. Now it looks like they're straight up reducing capacity. Kind of an interesting idea. You have this massive sellout streak. It's not like Nebraska Memorial Stadium has a crazy high capacity or anything. It's not like it's 100K, but this is Nebraska. There's not a ton of people in the state, and I think they're thinking, listen, let's make the experience better. We can bring the capacity down about 10,000 while making the place uh, significantly more enhanced and also easily maintaining the sellout streak considering there's going to be less seats that need to be filled according to preliminary plans up for approval before the University of Nebraska board. That's going to be happening next Thursday. It calls for a total demolition of South Stadium. It will be replaced by a new multi-level grandstand featuring a new student section and back concourse where students can gather and mingle. New premium seating with lounge chairs and general seating with chair backs. That all makes complete sense. Plans also call for chair back seats to replace benches in the East and West stadiums. And there would be a restroom concession and accessibility upgrades throughout the stadium as well. Now I'm going to go over their diagram here. Uh, this is what was released to us. We're going to begin. I'm just going to kind of dissect it. So you can see the way Nebraska Stadium is set up. It's labeled very strange. So the South Stadium is just like a section of seats. It's not like its own stadium. I know it sounds weird, but you can see behind that end zone, the entire giant wall of seats that was there that I will be honest it does look pretty cool but it's completely obsolete at this point when it comes to football stadiums you would never see a mass wall of seats like that you know being built today and I think Nebraska realizes it so they're going to be taking all of those seats out for one entire year that entire side of the stadium will be under construction so they're really going to reduce capacity I believe in 2025 when this construction is going on but they're going to replace it and you can see it looks like some type of you know multi-level smaller seating areas with you know club seats lounge seats standing room areas it's kind of hard to make it out I'm sure when the renderings come out it's going to be a lot better restroom and concession upgrades going around also another big thing 360 degree concourse going all the way around the stadium and then you also will have the north side of the stadium getting renovations. So both of the end zones will receive renovations for Nebraska, including a total rebuild to the south side. That's going to reduce the overall capacity because, again, if you look right behind the end zones right now of Nebraska Memorial Stadium, it is just giant walls of seats and they want to replace it, make it more modern. $450 million is the cost of this project. I do not believe they're touching the little mini upper deck for Nebraska. It's always kind of interesting to see that upper deck. It's so small, uh, but that's staying. And I think both of the sideline, like, like where the sidelines are behind that, all of those seats are pretty much going to remain the same outside of them possibly making the seats more comfortable, you know, rather than just having straight up bleachers. So looks like that's what's happening for Nebraska Memorial Stadium. It's going to be announced next Thursday. So about a week from now, maybe that's when we're going to get the official renderings, which will be really cool to look at.
and this is the official timeline of it, once demolition begins right after the 2024 regular season ends, so this year obviously nothing's happening to the stadium, next year nothing's happening to the stadium either, and then right after next season... Uh, the South Stadium seating will be unavailable during the entire 2025 season and possibly 2026. Is, that's a tough pill to swallow, man. Two seasons where an entire end zone of seating is not available, but it is a huge renovation, so it does make sense. And they later discussed, talked about the renovation, why it's happening. Not surprising at all. This is pretty typical when it comes to these older stadiums and the renovations that they're undergoing. And Nebraska Memorial Stadium is just the latest one. So $450 million, the total cost going forward, Providing fans more personal space also means the stadium's current capacity will shrink 10% to 12%, so that will be something to look out for as well. And this is really one of three, I would say, right now of huge stadium renovations that are going to be happening. The first one that gets officially announced, but you also do have the University of Florida and the Swamp. They're talking about a renovation very similar in terms of price, $450 million, and I'm guessing they're going to be doing a similar thing in terms of probably behind one of their end zones, taking out a bunch of the seating, putting in club seats, social spaces, standing room, and things like that. And then you also do have Beaver Stadium for Penn State. They're going through an even crazier renovation because it's going to be around $700 million. And theirs is what you would probably call more of a rebuild than a renovation, which means the stadium, they're going to try and keep it similar, but there might be entire sections of stands that get straight up rebuilt and they might get a completely different design uh, in terms of like one of the areas. But we'll have to see what happens there. This is like the first big domino when it comes to these, you want to say blue blood or bigger stadium renovations because this is a very old stadium, Nebraska Memorial. And I would say, l listen, when this, I talked about this like maybe a month or two ago when there were rumors and I said, I don't think they're going to reduce capacity. I thought maybe even they would bring capacity up to 100K because I know that's such a benchmark for programs to hit. But again, you can understand, you hear the rumors that the only reason they really still have this sellout streak is because boosters were buying up tickets and, and making sure they kept it, kept it going. You sometimes get that when it comes to sellout streaks getting really big where they'll kind of coax it and manipulate it to keep it going. You know, this is an easier way for them to keep the sellout streak going while also making it a better game day experience for Nebraska. And it's not like you're really sacrificing a ton of noise, although I'm sure it's not going to be as loud. It's still going to be very, very loud if you're talking about a capacity around 75K, but they are shrinking it by about 10 to 12%. And it's even going to be worse in 2025 and possibly 2026 when the entire side of the stadium, I would presume just one of the end zones will be undergoing construction. Let's hope they're not doing the Vanderbilt plan where they decide to do construction on both end zones of the stadium and both of the end zones are like construction areas for multiple seasons. But this is pretty standard when it comes to college football. You will have areas under construction during the season and that's what's going to be happening for Nebraska at least in 2025 and also possibly 2026 as well. But that is the first major renovation, the University of Nebraska coming out, $450 million. There are no renderings that I've seen. It's just kind of that diagram explaining. You can kind of see the shape of what they're going for. You know, I, I, I can understand, but I would certainly expect us to see some type of rendering maybe next Thursday when it officially gets announced in terms of that. And then when it comes to how it's going to be paid for, Plans call for at least $225 million of the $450 million, so half of it will be paid for by private donors. At least $100 million will come from athletic funds, including $50 million in donor-given reserves and $50 million from current reserves. Where the final $125 million will come from remains to be seen, uh, but he did make clear that the school would not tap into any tax dollars, tuition, or student fees to fund this renovation. So that's where the money is coming from. About half of it is coming from private donors, and we will see where the rest ends up coming from. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.